this is how we do this welcome to my channel my name is King Julian and uh, today I'm showing you how we do this washing in the village water on the basin and you take it down again give it a few minutes load up the water and when it's ready you go ahead That's it. Done. Uh -huh. What's up beautiful people, how are you guys going again, it's your boy again here Julian and uh, today we're exploring the life in the village and uh, we are in a beautiful place called El Doret and uh, this place is actually really nice, the weather is perfect compared to Australia where I usually live and um, yeah it's just amazing, so today's, today's session is all about washing and how we do it back in the village if you're not used to this wherever you're watching from this is how we do it here and this is how we used to do it here those days it's um it's actually really beautiful like to get, get myself used to like it's a workout you know working out and washing out washing your clothes with your hands it's um it makes you feel actually really good after afterwards so um i'm used to washing the machine uh the other side of the world but today we are going to use it, we're going to use our hands and uh, this is how we do it, you know, easy, fancy, and without, you know, much stress. Um, I'm going to get So what we do, we just top it up and then brush to wash um, some other stuff. So usually, it doesn't matter, but usually you start with the cleanest to the dirtiest. But my clothes are pretty standard. The only dirty thing is socks, which I, think I've, I don't think I've washed them for some time. They're actually a little bit stinky, um, unfortunately. Um, but whenever I'm in Australia, my sh my legs or my shoes don't stink. I don't know why, but I think because I walk a lot here, so here there's a lot of walking, there's a lot of activities moving around here than Australia. Australia, so we just um, uh, use cars most of the time, and. Um, and at the same time, it's not as dusty as this place, and because there's not there's not been rain, um, that's why it's it's a little bit you know 
I think it'll be dusty. Um, I'll show you around. I'll show you around this place. So that's the place we are. You can see beautiful chickens around. It's a village. That's my sister's house. And that's the surrounding. There's a beautiful house over there. So beautiful, guys. Amazing. Um, so my sister used to plant corn over here. I don't know what she's doing with it. I can see maybe that's an avocado tree. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a mess at the moment, but it's her place. She knows what to, to do with it. So when I left the place, that building was not there. And that place was not there four years ago, five years ago. But this is the place where we are today. Um, that's the place. That's the dog shed over there. That's the main entrance to the house. And there's another one at the back, and that's the gate. Um, yeah, pretty much uh, life in the village. And that's our, we call it Kisima, or we can call it a well, depending on where you're from. Um, and that's what we do our stuff. So, I'll keep uh, watching and give you stories about this place. This place was bought, I think, eight years ago, nine years ago, if I'm not wrong. And then, by that time, the land was a little bit cheap. So, where I am now is called Eldoret. Come on, talk Eldoret, my joy place. Missouri, you place in Eldoret, you place in Metulia. Kuna Mumingi. Land is very like, expensive, sana, but it's sour. Um, I mean, I hope some other people buy it. I shall keep him ta. Him ta poor Sam. Um, let's just not go to place in Siasa, but the place poor Sam. So, um, yeah, I'm here to visit my family, and it's awesome. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. So come over with the topic, young. If you like my content, guys, click the subscription button. Tell me what you think about my tour in Africa. Um, in a short while, we'll be going to Uganda and Rwanda to, to visit some friends over there. I hope you guys are gonna come along with me. Um, that's my hope. Um, and I'll go and find out how the place looks. Or look or see how the place is. Hopefully it's gonna be fun when we go over there. But for now, we are exploring on how to survive in the village, washing your hands after four years, after eight years, is it ten? Um, but I like it because even the local notion of work it This is how we used to do it. Majua. This is how we used to do it. And one of the reasons why we're doing this is because one, we can't afford um, the plumbing. As you can see, we don't have water here. Water is from the bottom. <laughs> you know? So, um, it's a little bit of a challenge for somebody who's not used to this. But at the same time, it's fun. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how it is, guys. Um, Enjoy the video guys as I keep on doing my thing. Uma história quero contar. A vida tem coisas belas ruins. Mas é mesmo. Mas acredito que não venham para ficar. Dizem que. Alright. Now it's time to rinse. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some more water from inside here. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. It's actually not that bad. Pull it. So pound inside. Okay. The soap just disappeared inside. Oh, fucking hell. 
I just dropped soap inside the water now. It's gonna be shit. Oh, I hate that. I actually thought it was my phone. And uh, let me show you how deep this place is, looks like. See? It's quite deep. It's way quite deep in there. Um, that's the uh, disadvantages of these things, man. So the, uh, I feel bad because now, um, so what happens? The water they can use it to cook. Unfortunately, I don't think they drink it, but some some of them, some people drink it here. Unfortunately. Um, Yeah, it's not the best idea, really. Oh, shit. I feel really bad. Dropped the... I've dropped the um, soap inside there, so... Um, well, it is what it is. Um, I just need to explain to my sister that the circumstances happened at this very moment. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, it's not me who fell in there. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's the water. It's, it's, the, it's the water and that soap was actually quite big. So, um, I'm a little bit flabbergasted or ashamed. this point because I actually feel really bad, you know, it's, and as much as it sounds funny, but you know, it's really, really, really sad that I've dropped soap in there, and this is the only source of water they are, they, they have, but I think it should be fine, um, yeah, so every time I come here, I get malaria, um, and because of the weather and everything, and, uh, and the water itself as well, because the same water I'm using here is the same water we used to cook our food. Um, so usually what I usually do, I usually buy my own water to drink here. Um, and of course, you can't trust the water anyway. So what happens is I get this malaria tablet that I take from Australia and I come with it here and I use it. I take it, like I've taken it this morning. So I take it a week before I come, and then I take a week after I'm here, and then I take every other week that I'm here, which I've taken now three times, because it's almost my third week now. Um, and it's pretty good. If you want to know what type of tablets I'm, I'm using to keep me out of malaria, let me know. I'll put, on, I'll put the description below. And this one is prescribed to me. Um, and it actually helped me a lot. A couple of days ago, I was feeling a little bit sicky, you know, but I even stay in Kapodali, I'm feeling alright. And of course, it's because of just the weather change, the temperature, and everything. Because, um, as you know, Africa is pretty warm. Um, yeah. Look at those guys. Catch one of them. chickens yeah my sister loves chickens and uh, I do love chickens as well um, so it's um it's fun it's fun being here to be honest and uh, I always look forward to coming back to Africa um, to visit my family and friends and do this kind of stuff you know um, so what I'm doing actually is actually pretty much that I'm supposed to usually many years ago I never used to miss this much uh, just twice but I just like it clean you know? um, so the water that I'm using here is from the well unfortunately the toilet is not far from here um, I'll show you in a bit where the toilet is and uh, 
you can tell that it's not actually really healthy but because we have no choice this is this is life really and um, I'm not ashamed to say that we might be a little bit privileged privileged from those who don't have it and uh, some people actually don't have it this much water next to your house so we are pretty lucky to be honest so <laughs> to have water like this you know um now that i've dropped my soap pochino um i have no choice but uh to me uh, To me. So what I'll do, I'll go to the city and uh, get chlorine for my sister. And uh, chlorine, what it does, it it helps the water to clear up. And I'll put it inside there so that they can actually use the water. <laughs> Unfortunately, because yeah, in a few years, in a few weeks of time, it's gonna be a little bit soapy, and um, I feel really bad. I honestly do. I didn't mean it. I didn't. The soap was just like very close to the thing, and it just went inside. And I, yeah, it's not, it's not a good idea. Taking a cut, put down there. Um, yeah, but shit happens. The most important thing is for me to explain to her. And my niece, my cousin in there, that this soap fell in there. And uh, unfortunately I can't take it out because it's already gone down and sunk. So the consequences will be there, but as long as I explain, it's gonna be fine. You know? So anyway. I think I'm done with the, with the washing, so I'm gonna do another rinse, and then after that I'm gonna put them on the line, and after that it's gonna be we're gonna be done with this. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. If you don't do that, I'll give you one of these chickens. I'll give you one of those chickens if you don't subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I'll give you one of these chickens. I'll give you this guy. Yes, I'll give you one of those. If you don't subscribe to my channel, enjoy the video. What's up beautiful people, that's it guys, we're done washing, cleaning, dropping the soap in the well, having some extra water to do other stuff, and the clothes are on the line, dripping slowly, and our basins are empty, 
the chickens are happy and everybody around is happy <laughs> and um that's the end of it i hope you enjoyed the video guys that was um a pretty big workout for me and you guys if you're planning to come and visit africa just remember you might go through this or you might not because not everyone can afford this and not everyone doesn't have to have this so that means some people have it some people don't and uh, but that's how we do it over here and i uh, hope that you guys have enjoyed the video i'm just gonna have to do some clean up here and uh, make sure that this place is clean and i hope that i don't mess up with this well again that i've dropped the soap in there and um it's been a it's been a good thing after maybe four years i haven't done this so i'm um, usually back in australia it takes me less than two minutes i'm done chuck the clothes in the washing machine and i'm done my shoes usually pff, rarely wash them in australia because it's to be honest australia is clean and um and i don't walk a lot and um i'm always working anyway busy working and i have my clothes to wear at work and stuff so but um coming here you have to do a few things to to be a little bit clean and uh as you can see my friends over here they're also enjoying the extra water that we have um that's it for now i'll wrap it up keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting and this is the life in africa peace
Serving chickens has never been this beautiful. Feeding chickens has never been this amazing. And that's how we feed the chickens here. Peaceful. And they don't scare of knife. That's how we do it. Beautiful chickens. Unfortunately, they don't trust me.